New Year, same President Trump. He woke up early here in the nation's capital and again was quickly setting the tone by Twitter, wishing a happy new year to the quote unquote haters in fake news media, quipping that people suffering from Trump derangement syndrome should just sit back and enjoy the ride because he said good things are happening. He went on to cheerlead the strong jobs market he's presided over and tweeted out a charge that Democrats are really for open borders. However, the commander in chief is facing a whole new power dynamic in 2019. The partial shutdown is well into its 11th day. There's still no end in sight as Democrats prepare Thursday to officially take control of the House and they hope to quickly pass legislation to reopen the government on their terms. None of the $5 billion the president is demanding for a border wall. That may be why the president did try a slightly more diplomatic approach on Twitter by the afternoon, saying to Democrats, let's make a deal. And he invited congressional leaders to come over Wednesday to the White House, which is where we find our correspondent Kevin Cork. Good evening, Kevin. Evening, Ed. A stark new reality for the president and the Trump administration this year. Obviously, as you pointed out, a Democratic-controlled House to say nothing of the ongoing government shutdown partial shutdown. But that will not stop the president's plans for 2019, say White House officials, nor apparently will it stop his penchant for punching opponents on Twitter. If his New Year's Twitter feed were a blockbuster film, President Trump's would have been a good old-fashioned good cop, bad cop movie, starring a president content to hammer his so-called haters in all caps, chiding Democrats for ignoring all of the crime and drugs that open borders bring, and at the very same time showcasing his softer side, even suggesting to one of his chief protagonists on Capitol Hill, Nancy Pelosi, that the time might be ripe to make a deal to end the government shutdown. An offer manifestly rejected by the presumptive speaker, who said the president had given Democrats a great opportunity to show how we will govern responsibly and quickly pass our plan to end the irresponsible hashtag Trump shutdown. I'm ready to go. They can come over right now. They could have come over any time. I spent Christmas in the White House. I spent uh, New Year's Eve now in the White House. And, uh, you know, I'm here. I'm ready to go. Ready to go is one thing, but willing to compromise may yet be a bridge too far, particularly for a president eager to hail border wall funding as the latest in a string of Trump victories over the past year, including a successful Kavanaugh confirmation to the Supreme Court, record low unemployment, a new USMCA trip deal to replace NAFTA, the end of the Iran nuclear deal, and a dismantling of ISIS that's seen the caliphate shrink dramatically, the latter a precursor to other military moves in 2019, including a planned and precipitous drawdown in Syria. We're going to get out. We're getting out of Syria. We're bringing our young, great troops home after so many years. You know, we were supposed to be in Syria for three to four months, and that was four or five years ago. And it's time. We have to bring them home. But few agenda items will be accomplished this year, including movement on major infrastructure legislation, until the government reopens, putting the onus on the president and congressional lawmakers to, as the president suggested, make a deal or suffer the political fallout while everyday Americans suffer the consequences. Bit of housekeeping for you, Ed. Congressional leaders have been invited here to the White House to attend a briefing by the Department of Homeland Security on the border wall. That briefing set for 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, although sources tell our Chad program it's unclear if they'll all make it because of holiday travel. We'll be watching and waiting all the same. Back to you. Kevin Cork, live at the White House. Thank you, Kevin.